Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video we're gonna be taking a look at the HTC One and a common issue that people encounter uh, when you use the HTC One. Alright, I really love the HTC One, it's one of, the, one of my favorite devices from 2013. I've used this as a, as a daily driver for months uh, on and off. And one common issue that I've, uh, one issue that I've encountered no matter what ROM I'm on, whether I'm on stock or whatever, is that uh, whenever I use any earphones barring the stock ones that come with the HTC One, the uh, music player, not just this music player, the stock music player, any music player I have, tends to behave erratically. So these are a pair of Mi's 11 Classics. These are wooden earphones. They are amazing. You can actually pick them up from Mises website. I'll leave a direct link right below the like button. Anyway, so when I plug this in, all right, and uh, there is some movement over here, you can see the uh, music player behave erratically. So say for example, Eminem's Legacy is playing right now. A little bit of movement, and you can see it skip tracks, pause, whatever. So this is a threaded XDA where you can get more information on this. People have actually analyzed this issue. It is pretty common. It happens to a lot of people. It doesn't happen with every phone, but it does tend to happen. The reason being, the conclusion that people have come to is that uh, the metal over here, when it comes in contact with metal on a earphone, it kind of tends to uh, mistake button presses, uh, even detect presses of buttons when you don't actually press them. The way HTC manages to get past this is their included earphones actually have a piece of plastic over here which third party earphones lack. It's not just third party earphones, this, these are Samsung earbuds and again they don't have any plastic at the bottom. So there are quite a few workarounds for this guys. Uh, one would be to run WizDroid the app that really didn't work for me. It has worked for a few people so uh, you can check that out. If the app Wizdroid works for you, that actually deactivates any kind of button presses on your earphones. So uh, that hasn't been working for me. Anyway, another option, uh, again suggested by the guys over on XDA uh, developers forums, is to get these O-rings. These are dental rubbers. I really had no idea where to find them. So uh, this is the last option that you come to if nothing else works for you just get a pair I mean some tape okay and uh, okay let me just take it off get your sim ejector pen handy as well okay so take some tape turn the phone off or just turn the screen off stick it on top all right and uh, just cut it as minimal minimal as possible all right so just taking this off and cutting it just smooth it out and now take your sim ejector pin and just break a little hole there and now just plug your earphones in okay and everything should okay just smooth this out a little bit I know this is not the best looking fix around so if you can find the o-rings that would work better it would not make your phone look a little messed up but otherwise this is better than not having to use your earphones so let me just show you how it works so as you can see no issues now so uh, this has worked for me I've used it I've uh, listened to music for well over 20 hours after using this fix I had no issues whatsoever so while this might not be the best looking fix like I said uh, it does work it does serve the purpose so if you guys are running into issues similar to what I've been facing this is what you need to do to get past it so this is just a quick little video I just wanted to let you guys know if you had this issue you're not alone it's common and uh, if you want to read up more about it, again, the link to that thread from XDA Developers Forums can be found right below the like button in the description. So if you do own a HTC One, have you faced this issue? If yes, what have you done to fix it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So for those of you who found this video helpful, just give it a thumbs up and stay subscribed and uh, I'll be coming out with more videos soon. So I guess that pretty much wraps up this quick little video. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll catch you soon in the next one. Till then, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.